how he is again. This is a, a subject I've spoken a lot about. I've ranted a fair bit about. And... Uh, it's weird that I switched around. But here we are. Yeah, with this, uh, this subject, I... You know, I'm always ranting about it. I'm always going on about it. But it cannot be overstated is this concept of hexing unduly cursing people who never did you any harm and believing you can act profane in the magical world and get away with it. Now, it's kicked off again with all these Black Lives Matter and uh, Antifa and all this other stuff that's going on in America with these riots and stuff at the moment. Uh, TikTok, I'm told, is full of literally thousands upon thousands of teenage girls who are trying to are trying to kill end white supremacy with <clears throat> with hexing and cursing. Uh, there's a uh, also imaginary white supremacy, I might add. Uh, there's also this uh, the the whole you know the whole magical world is predominantly left wing socialist and liberal, and this is because of the the over representation of feminists and females uh, w unhappy females in things such as wicca now let me talk about that i bet you all the wiccans you know of them are practicing wiccans ones who actually abide by the read you will find that most of them if not all of them their lives are a mess their relationships don't last they're profoundly unhappy people. They hate their neighbours. Their neighbours hate them. They're not enjoying life. And they're not, they don't really have anything to show for life. Except their neuroses, their hang-ups, their grudges, their hatreds and their bitterness. Now what this has come from is that when Doreen Valentine rewrote The Wiccan Read... She made it into basically a feminist manifesto. And from that point on, all these feminists, in particularly in the United States, took over Wicca. And the the the, the other ones that were basically the old-time Wiccans died out, which would have been predominantly male and female. And this new generation came in who were all basically feminist women's lib. And they, they're nature took over Wicca and to the point where men didn't really go into Wicca anymore and they went off to look at things like Satanism and Thelema and Oteotio and things like that as well as like Kabbalah and regular magical systems. Now what happened then was it became a den of poison not because the women were involved, but of the kind of women that were involved. It was essentially anti-man. It is it, an over an over obsession with things such as Lilith and female deities, but in the traditional Wiccan style, worshipped as basically an anamorphic representations of the Abrahamic God. When you really start thinking about it. It's ultimately based on Kabbalah and uh, Judaism. So you have this situation where women would say a woman had a breakup with her husband, right? And say it was something like he met a woman at work, fell in love with her and said, look, it's not working with us anymore. I'm leaving. And she was naturally devastated, her heart broken. And then some Wiccan witch would come along and tell her you you can hurt you can curse him you can do hexes on him you can do things like lemon spells on him and this will destroy him and uh, now let's consider the so-called offense there's nothing evil about someone falling in love with another person it just happens he didn't he wasn't he wasn't slapping her around this is a hypothetical situation. He wasn't slapping her around. He didn't seek to harm her. He didn't seek to find this woman deliberately to hurt his wife. He didn't do it for any of those reasons. 
Now, but in her mind, because she's upset, understandably, and, and hurt, she thinks she's been betrayed. Now, it's just like these women who find themselves in similar situations and they end up on these uh, awful narcissistic and psych sociopath and other, and you know, narcissistic personality recovery forums because some other woman has con convinced them that the reason why their, their marriage or their relationship failed is because the guy was a, there was a psychopath when in reality she could have been the, the pain in the ass and he had to get out you know people fall in love and break up for as many reasons as each, each of the other now <clears throat> so she she gets this this spell off this this hag and she yeah uh, she invokes it and nothing happens and uh she does the spell and he's getting on happy and everything's great and her life is starting to go even worse now the reason for this is she unduly cursed him he did not mean to do her harm directly and that was the that's the key factor he didn't sit down and instead of it coming back three times on on him it comes back a thousand times on her and she never has a happy relationship ever again she's besieged by health problems she puts on lots of weight if she was pretty she loses her looks uh, her health deteriorates her mind deteriorates and that basically summed and but what happens then is she can't convince herself that it was the hex that did that so she hexes and hexes again and and then next thing you know like so many of these wiccans they're hexing everybody for nothing if somebody uh, gives them it get gets uh, the last chocolate bar in a store that they were after they'll hex them and they you will see that they all die quite young and after or they end up in mental hospitals and stuff like that and this is because they become hex junkies and curse junkies and spell junkies and uh, they what they're doing is now let me explain to you what the start of the thing is right if you look at ter terms of quantum coupling, okay, uh, and quantum entanglement, when she hexed him, all she did was further entrench her life energy into him. Where what I've been telling you from day one is no contact ever again. Just get away and get on with your life. And that's how you retain your psychic ed energy. And uh, so she's further in coupling with him. It's almost like a second wedding. You know, it was like another wedding. This time, when, instead of getting married to him, she's becoming quantum entangled to him, as a kind of a, a kind of a subatomic marriage, and this depletes her energy system from her body, and she falls asunder. Now, if they had a kid together and the hex or spell did work, the kid could be killed in an accident, and then she'll say, "How did that happen?" How was my son killed in an accident? Well, you hexed his father and you wanted to punish and hurt the father. And the father was hurt by the child you had to get her dying. And the, see, this is the way magic goes. It's once it's, you know, this is why you, know, you have to be extremely careful when you do these things. Because when you throw them out there, uh, you've got to make sure that they're absolutely bulletproof and just. And if they're not... They are basically the, the equivalent of, you know, running through a field full of landmines that you've set for some. It's like you laid landmines for someone, someone else to walk in and be blown up. And then you forgot where you buried them. And then you trying to get out of the field without stepping on one of the landmines you bury for someone else. That's what it's like energetically. Now, it's come up again with this whole Trump. They had the Trump binding spell, right? Uh, that they would destroy Trump. Now... Trump is more powerful than ever. And these profane and unclean witches. And that's what you are when you bring your politics into the magic circle. You're doing something incredibly, incredibly wrong. Even the Abrahamics do not bring do not bring politics into the alt upon the altar or in the tabernacle. And you think you can do it in the magic circle and get away with it? When, you know, endless ancient spiritual traditions don't. Why? Because you want to fight white supremacy. Okay, then find a white supremacist and uh, get him arrested or something. And that's the end of it. 
no, no, but you have to fight a, a, a mysterious target that doesn't exist. It's, it's more of a philosophical construct in an age of mass mental illness caused by a lockdown over a, that, over a, a pandemic that caused many people to go psychotic. And that's what these riots in America were seeing. Are really, and they're spread to London and stuff now are like. Uh, we're in an age of mass mental illness on my Thomas Sheridan channel on YouTube. I cover the sociological aspects of all this. Now, it's this is this is this. I've been saying from day one, what's happening this year is a spiritual crisis. And now we're really finding it now with teenage girls who are basically guaranteed going to cause themselves many years of misery and unhappiness by casting spells against I don't know, whatever it is, the, something called the white supremacy, which doesn't exist as a as a as a as a person or an individual you can pin your 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 attack upon. It's a philosophical construct. Therefore, they're laying landmines in a field, and not only do they have to get out of the field without stepping on the landmines where they don't know where they are, but what they think is going to come in and be and step on their landmines doesn't exist. It's a philosophy, not an individual. You know, even you know the Dor Dor Dorian Vir Vir virtues and a uh, gardener's uh, temple of light, when they were, in trying to stand turn back the Nazis, in World War Two, stood on the white cliffs of Dover, and focused on the German bombers, which they could see with their own eyes coming over the English Channel, flying over their heads. See, they were real. They, they, they was a tangible threat that bomber or the machine gunner in the front could kill them. So they were up against it. And that's why their their thing is not the same as what you're doing. They, the Society of Light, stood there while literally Germ Luft Luftwaffe Henkel bombers were flying right over their heads, a way to attack attack their towns and so, that, that they lived in. This is not a. They, they weren't. They didn't hex Nazism. Or they didn't hex Third Right, the Third Reich. They saw the bombers coming in that were actually attacking them and their loved ones. Very, very different, okay? Very different. That's a tangible thing you can actually point to and hex with its swastikas on the wings and iron cross on it's the cross on the wings, and you can actually you know, there's something you can hit there using your psychic energies and so on to deflect it or make it crash or whatever. Or affect the electronics inside it. Now or the bombs not to detonate. Uh, these kids are being led by the previous generation of evil Wiccans who are indulged in an act of mass sacrifice in the hope it gets them laid. Because that's really the fundamental central point of Wicca today is, is bitches who can't get laid. Because they're ugly, unattractive, and they have horrible personalities. And uh, thinking by getting part of this, they can, uh, deep down inside, they think they're going to get themselves some chocolate lover. Some like, good-looking black guy is going to say, Wow, thank you, ma'am, for, for hexing, for hexing the, white, the, the white supremacist, baby. And they think they're going to get that. So in order to get that, they're going to literally human sacrifice tens of thousands of women mostly young teenage girls who don't have the night they don't they're aborted neophytes in the sense that they haven't even you know they're they're they don't even know what magic is it, it to them it's buffy or something or harry potter they're not even neophytes and they're sacrificing these kids like useful idiots in the same way the democratic party is sacrificing antifa as useful idiots as you know the same thing in the hope that you know some 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 uh, some woman who you know hasn't hasn't seen dick in 25 years is going to get herself some kind of really good looking black guy uh, if she does this by and this is really what it comes down to this the 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 deep the deep broken elements within them as people and human beings doing magic magic is a very serious thing it's it's you're tampering with the building blocks of 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 reality, and to do this unduly hysterically or badly thought out will cause untold chaos to yourself, but also cause tremendous damage in society as well. They're going to make things much much worse, much worse. Now I saw a thing that uh, a friend of mine sent me on Instagram, 
and it was a picture of what I mentioned on the other video of the lightning bolt striking the Washington Monument. And these were the people who were trying to claim that this was the Trump binding spell coming to fruition. It was the tower card which they used. Well, firstly, let's talk about this. The tower wasn't destroyed. And that's not Trump's tower, the Washington Mon Monument. Trump's tower is a skyscraper in New York. Okay, it didn't hit that. Okay, this is, this is, this is how pathetic they are. It didn't destroy him or throw him off. It actually, it, it was actually, if anything, can be seen as a, a an invocation of the institutions behind the United States democracy. And he, and and regardless of what psychiatric episodes you, you know, are you know, subject to, he won a democratic election. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. He didn't take over the government by a coup. And uh, he ran for election. And America has been in a highly magical state since he made that speech in 2015. That famous speech that most of us who barely noticed him before that watched it and says, oh, my God, this guy is something else. And uh, realized that this, you know, he has put America into a very magical state. But there's a spiritual battle going on here, too, as well. Now, we have, we also have, they're also using the full moon at the moment to do this. Now, the moon is... A, I mean, they don't even know what they're doing. And uh, it, it, it's... You know, this is not going... This is going to cause untold damage. Not only to themselves, but possibly to the world, to the planet. Uh, in terms... You know, as if 2020 hasn't been chaotic enough. So if you have, if you have a friend who's thinking of doing this... You just say to them, mm, you, well, so what are you trying to do? Die by die of ovarian cancer when you're 29? What? Because that's what'll happen. What do you mean? Did What are you doing? I'm hexing Trump and white supremacy. Okay, are you black? No. Uh, did Trump come down your street with a burning cross and a rope to lynch and lynched you? No. So how, why are you why are you attacking him? Oh, because he's Trump and white supremacy is a big problem. For you? Well, no, I'm a white person. Then why are you why are you why are you fighting a battle that doesn't that you're not part of? That's not come to you. Think of it as a country who has an imaginary en enemy, who forsakes their healthcare budget, education budget social welfare budget and puts all their money into buying weapons and armaments for a war that's never coming and the people and they have, they have all the weapons all the g guns everything and the people are starving it's it's like the magic version of that the enemy doesn't is never coming it doesn't exist it's in your mind and this is kind of like a magical version of Munchausen by proxy you know, and that's in in many ways, but they they're harming themselves, and in 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 as well as encouraging little kids, and they're even getting their daughters and their little kids to do this. Sick, sick, sick. I suggest you watch the film Veronica, to see what kind of portals you can open, especially when young children are involved, especially when teenage girls are involved, to see what portals can be accidentally opened, when you invoke. Uh, and summon magical rituals and spellcrafting and hexes during a cosmic event such as a, a full moon or an eclipse. I suggest you watch that film because that's a true story and let it sink into you. And that's what happens. There are numerous entities within the abyss that are ready to tear your soul asunder. In many ways, the, the, the Cenobites are real. They're brought into your life by by bad magic and uh, unclean workings and there's nothing more unclean or profane than using your magic for political things it's horrible actually even the Ab i tell you the amber havocs don't even do that and that you're doing it but if you want to sacrifice yourself that's okay but if you're encouraging teenage girls on tiktok and stuff to do it you're you're pretty evil you're pretty you're pretty evil doing that it's stupid as well, but evil mostly. You're sacrificing these young girls' lives for your mental illness or your hang-ups or your white guilt or whatever you have. You know, it's like, okay, you're really worried about the plight of black people in America. Give them money. You know, do something like that. Do something. Help them directly. That's not help. What you're doing is, is you think is easy, but it will come back to you big time. 
And uh, so, I mean, if anything's going to be damaged by this, it will be the Black Lives Matter movement. And it's probably going to cause, because uh, probably a lot of them are going to be infected by coronavirus now. And they'll bring that home because they are now gathering in mass groups to do this. And there, there's no social distancing and the, the virus is still not completely gone from the community. And they're encouraging black people to show up at these events. But it's, if you look at the statistics, black people are more likely to die of C-19 than anyone else. So how are they helping black people? By bunching them all together with a bunch of mouthy white lefties and idiot liberal hearts, bleeding heart liberals screaming their mouths off. By the way, I'm not right wing. I'm an anarchist. I don't like either side. And I don't bring any, any politics into any of my spiritual work life. Uh, it's tremendously profane and unclean tremendously so uh, I think we're looking at something really what we're seeing now might be the foreshadowing of a bigger catastrophe to come caused by this disruption in the matrix I will be doing things on a personal level to try and limit the damage to myself and I suppose others should be doing the same as well but the magic circle has been has been corrupted and uh, fouled and a lot of and a lot of entities are going to be released and they're going to infect these people who think they're it's cute they're, they think they're Buffy or they think they're Hermione now there's an interesting synchronicity for you the girl who played Hermione in Harry Potter movies is basically the role model for these cosplay witchy pools she's gone completely psychotic she shaved off her hair for Black Lives Matter uh, and she, her, her mental illness is just screaming off every page. That was a foreshadow of what's going to happen to you. You will find that, like, uh, just like those of you who know people who are going to take part in this hexing and stuff like that, right? Uh, this weekend, Go pay attention to them. What happens afterwards, as their relationships fall apart, their lives fall apart their health fall apart and I think a lot of them will probably lose their hair mysteriously uh, because of their 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 witch mentor Hamani Emma Watson shaving hair her hair off which is always a sign of either psychosis or a, or a, or possession entity possession usually both and uh, yeah so you know I'm you'd be very careful now what you do this weekend uh, hey, you know, if you it's reading things incorrectly, like seeing a lightning bolt hitting the Washington Monument, it's the Washington Monument, not Trump Tower. OK, and nothing was destroyed. If anything, it was a charge given to Washington, D.C. and the institutions with Trump uh, is currently the steward of. OK, that's what's happening. Uh, I'll. Uh, this is about the fifth video in the last several years that I've made on this topic. Don't hoax anyone that hasn't harmed you directly. And don't get involved in these magical, psychotic episodes because they lead to social, cultural and personal chaos. You're going to do an awful lot of damage this weekend and you, won't, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You, you just don't. You're so selfish and so wrapped up in your virtual sig virtue signaling and your need to be to get likes and loves. And so you're going to make all your crazy little rituals and stuff like that, that, you know, your half assed Wiccan bullshit that are a combination of that and something you picked up off Harry Potter. And you haven't even in any way worked on your spiritual development as a person before you even got there, which is what a neophyte has to to do before they can even begin to on their magical path but you you didn't even have that many of you will be many of them will be atheists for christ's sake who'll be doing this because they it's 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 pay attention let me tell you something uh if you've got a teenage daughter who's planning to do this my because her friends are all doing it you know my thing would be i'm not interfering how you run your family but i, I would suggest you do something else for her find her a boyfriend or something or buy her, buy her something she really wants, just to say, I'll buy you something if you really want, if you promise not to do that ritual this weekend. Take care, bye.